بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear brothers and sisters رمضان كريم رمضان مبارك كل عام وأنتم بخير الحمد لله after another year we are welcoming Ramadan again Ramadan is almost here what have you planned what goal do you want to achieve from this Ramadan? And how do you want to make best use of this Ramadan? Do you have a plan? If you don't have the plan, this is the right time for us to make the plan. Ramadan is an opportunity. What do we mean by opportunity? An opportunity comes and goes, they do not wait. If you grab it, if you take, if you take advantage of this opportunity, you make most out of this. So Ramadan is an opportunity. Let us be very careful. Let us not let this opportunity go without making best use of this. So Ramadan is on the pillar of Islam. As Allah SWT mentioned in the Quran Karim, Bismillah rahman rahim Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum al-siyam Kutiba alaykum al-siyam kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon Allah said, O oh, you who believe in Allah, O oh, you who believe us, fasting has been prescribed upon you as it was prescribed before you, to the nation before you, so that la'allakum tattaqoon, so that you gain taqwa. And also Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in a hadith, بني الإسلام على خمس شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله وإقام الصلاة وإيتاء الزكاة وصوم رمضان وحج البيت من استطاع إليه سبيلا. So this is one of the pillar. So when we fast in this Ramadan, we actually discharging one of the obligation that Allah SWT has prescribed upon us. Ramadan is an opportunity. As the shaitan is locked. You know, one of the reasons why uh, we do bad things because shaitan makes us go astray. Because shaitan, you know, he's trying day and night to make us go astray, make us do the wrong thing. And shaitan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, actually asks us to do good and stay away from bad. And shaitan does exactly the opposite. But out of Allah's love for us, Allah actually locked shaitan in this month. There's a hadith from Abi Hurairah radiallahu anhu. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam قال إذا كانت أول ليلة من رمضان سفدت الشياطين ومرضت الجن وغلقت أبواب النار فلم يفتح منها باب وفتحت أبواب الجنة فلم يغلق منها باب The hadith was narrated from Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu that the messenger of Allah messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when the first night of Ramadan comes the shaitan and the mischievous jinn are chained up and the gates of the fire are closed and none of its gates are opened. The gates of paradise, Jannah, are opened and none of its gates are closed. So this is the golden opportunity, brothers and sisters, because shaitan is not there to disturb us. You know, you're just, it's just ourselves. So we just have to have this strong willingness, strong will, where we try to change, make make bet, best uh, out of this this month it's an opportunity to feel allah is monitoring us and if we get used to with it we feel it holier and it will become a habit you know there's a hadith beautiful hadith is known as hadith jibril there's a long hadith where where jibril came in the form of human being he asked Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam some questions. He asked about Islam, about Iman, about Ihsan. So Ihsan is excellence, in, in, if you only translate it into English, it's excellence. But what does it mean? What, what, do, what does it mean? What is mean by Ihsan? Then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al-Ihsan, an ta'bud Allah ka'annaka tarah. Ihsan is, excellence is, you, an ta'bud Allah, you worship Allah SWT ka'annaka tarah, as if you see him. فَإِلَّمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ Even if you don't see him, فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاكُ He sees you. 
So, you know, this whole month, you know, we don't eat and drink, we don't uh, come closer to the things Allah SWT has asked us to stay away from the, in this month, is because Allah is watching us. You know, uh, if you want to eat and drink, uh, who is stopping us? You can hide in your car, you can hide in any place and eat and drink. But we are not doing this because we have this sense, we feel that Allah is watching us. Allah is monitoring us. So if we get used to this habit in this month, can you can you imagine you, our, our quality of our work, at a quality of our, our productivity at work, uh, if you're studying as a student, if you are doing whatever thing you're doing, and you're doing for Allah SWT, and you have this feeling that Allah is watching you for this thing. So this is a good opportunity, brothers and sisters. It's an opportunity for us to fix our akhlaq. You know, you know, all human beings are, you know, wrong to us. So you all, you all make mistakes. We are not, if you don't make a mistake, you're not a human being. We all make mistakes. We all have, we all have faults. So this is, the, this is the opportunity for us to fix those faults. Uh, you know, sometimes you know, the, the scholars say, uh, we don't see our own mistake. Uh, we ask our people, people who believe, who are trust, our trustworthy, uh, our, our trusted friends and family members, uh, you know, see what are the issues with our akhlaq. Uh, do we, uh, you know, whatever, we, have, we might have so many things, so many issues. Let's, uh, let us make a list of those issues and let us try to address those issues. Let this Ramadan be not passed without fixing those. So before Ramadan, we are one version. After Ramadan, let us be the best version of ourselves. This, and you, brothers and sisters, when this opportunity goes, this is not coming back. This is not coming back. And if we don't make plan from beginning, it will just go like this. And the opportunity will be lost, will be gone. There's hadith from Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu. Qal, qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, إِذَا كَانَ يَوْمُ صَوْمِ أَحَدِكُمْ فَلَا يَرْفُثُ وَلَا يَسْخَبْ فَإِنْ سَابَهُ أَحَدٌ أَوْ قَاتَلَهُ فَلْيَقُلْ إِنِّي صَائِمٌ You know, there's the hadith Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when any one of you is observing psalm, fasting, on a day, he should neither indulge in obscene language, nor should he raise the voice. And if anyone reviles him or tries to quarrel with him, he should say, Allahumma inni sa'im, I'm, I'm observe, observing first the hadith in Shirin Bukhari and Muslim. You know, if, so these are golden opportunities. We, we are not indulging, we are not, uh, we are staying away from those, uh, uh, th those things because we are fasting. So let us make list of the issues we have with our akhlaq and let us try to fix this in this month. Uh, Ramadan is an opportunity to attain taqwa. You know, in very, uh, a few places Allah SWT actually mentioned the, uh, the reason why he prescribed things for, for the, for the mu'minin. But particularly in Ramadan, for fasting, he said, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ You know, Ramadan, fasting has been prescri prescribed upon us so that we gain taqwa. And one of the beautiful uh, definition of taqwa I came across was by Ali ibn Abi Talib. When he said, الْخَافُ مِنَ الْجَلِيلِ الْعَمَلُ بِالْتَنْزِيلِ وَرِضَى بِالْقَلِيلِ وَالْإِسْتِعْدَادِ لِيَوْمِ الرَّحِيلِ He said, At-taqwa is to fear Allah and amal bi tanzil and to act upon what He has revealed, what He has sent. So in the Quran, we said, do it, do it, stay away from it, stay away from it. وَرِضَى بِالْقَلِيلِ And to be pleased with little. وَالْإِسْتِعْدَادِ لِيَوْمِ الرَّحِيلِ And to prepare for the last day. So this is the opportunity for us to gain, get uh, the attained taqwa. It's an opportunity to, for us to get closer to the Qur'an and make it a habit. Uh, you know, in Ramadan, it's, uh, you, feel that, you feel the atmosphere of Qur'an in Masjid. Uh, when we go to, for Tarawih, you know, so many Masajid, uh, they're doing uh, the Khatam of whole Qur'an. Uh, we have recited, reciting you know, with beautiful voices and even eloquence with Maqamat, with Tajweed. MashaAllah, you, know, you feel that uh, the, the atmosphere is Qur'anic atmosphere. And let us grab, you know, if we don't have that connection with the Quran and Karim, let us grab this opportunity. Let us use this to build, to have strong connection with the Quran and Karim. Prophet actually said to Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As, he said, Iqrahu fi shahri marra. 
you know, read this, this Quran at least once in a month. And Ibn Abbas said, وَمَنْ لَمْ يَقْرَ فِي شَهْرٍ فَقَدْ حَجَرٍ And who ever did not read this Quran uh, at least once in a month, he has deserted Quran. So let us use this opportunity to get connected, to, to have strong relation with Quran in Karim. And again, Quran should be read, uh, it should be understood and, ish, and, and, and acted upon. So Quran is not just for reading. You know, for Allah SWT very, uh, in, in beginning Surah Al-Baqarah, he said, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابِ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ قُدَلْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ So it's a garden for, 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 the, for the muttaqin, for the pious one. So how are you going to uh, get guidance if you don't understand it? Let us make attempt. There are so many institutions are teaching Arabic language, Quranic Arabic. Let us subscribe to one of these courses and improve our Arabic language. Let us get closer to Quranic. If you have issue with Quranic recitation, so many institutions are providing uh, uh, you know, courses on Tajweed. Let us subscribe to any of these courses and improve our reading. And this is the best opportunity, brothers and sisters, you will get. It's an opportunity to get connected with the masjid. Uh, in Ramadan, subhanallah, in a masjid are full, in a, so many masjids have so many activities, iftar, uh, you see so many people attending for fajr, so many people are attending tarawih. You see, you know, alhamdulillah, in Ramadan, we are very strongly connected with the masjid. There's a hadith where uh, Prophet said, there's three, seven people where Allah would give them, give them shade when there's no other shades. And one of them is rajulun mu'allaqun bil masajid, person who is connected with the masjid. So this is the best opportunity. This is the best. Let us get this. Let us get this habit. Let us continue this habit. Let us make this a habit and continue with this habit after Ramadan. And it's an opportunity again, you know, this opportunity for men and women both as spending charity. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to be Jawad. He used to be a kind person. And he used to be more generous in Ramadan. Can Ajwad fi Ramadan. So it's an opportunity for us to get this habit of spending in charity. It's an opportunity for us to control our shahwat. You know, we are not eating and drinking. It's a shahwat. It's a desire. And so we are not doing this because Allah has asked us to do this. So let us, you know, those who are struggling to control our desire, whatever desire you have, uh, let's make, uh, let, let's grab this opportunity uh, and, and fix those. It's, it's an opportunity, brothers and sisters, to fix our relationship with people. Subhanallah, in our community, we have so many issues now with so many people, you know, at workplace, colleagues, you know, said something in uh, wrong tone or in wrong place, out of place. Uh, some of our relatives said something, our siblings, our friends, and subhanallah, that's we are cutting relationship. But this, let's use this opportunity to, for, uh, to fix this, those relationships. Let us go to them actually and say, look, you know, Ramadan is come and I want to start a clean page. I want to, uh, uh, let us, uh, you know, if I have done anything wrong to you, uh, I'm sorry for this. There's hadith, I'm going to call, listen to this very carefully, very carefully. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Listen to this. Listen to this very carefully. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, The one who maintains ties of kinship is not the one who reciprocates. The one who maintains ties of kinship is the one who, when his relatives cut him off, maintains ties of kinship. So, you know, if, you, if your relatives, if you, they cut you off, they don't talk to you, and then you say, okay, uh, I'm not going to talk to him. Uh, if they talk to you, then you talk to is it, This is not the Silat Rahim. This is not the maintaining of ties of kinship. Ties of kinship is when they, they do wrong to you, you they cut you off, uh, you forgive them, you go to them, you fix those relationships. So as you can see, brothers and sisters, Ramadan is full of opportunities. Let us not waste these opportunities. Let us make a plan. Let us sit down. Let us take some time with ourselves. Let us make a goal. What objectives I want to achieve from this Ramadan? What goals I have for this Ramadan? And let us make an action plan and execute it. I would like to thank you all for listening to this and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide me and guide you all and bless us in this Ramadan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.